Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can create a floating icon, a floating action button that uh, will open up some more icons which you can assign different on click listeners to. So, uh, this is really gonna be very simple because uh, I'm gonna be using pre made implementation or pre made tool, I guess, which is a uh, get based floating action. So, the first thing that you need to do is go over to the build cradle where which is here a module app and then implement the get base uh, floating action but I'll leave this in the description once you've done that you go over to the activity.xml that you want uh, your floating uh, action button to be here you have a few options when you're making this there is difference between a floating action menu and a floating action button so uh, the first thing that you need to do is make a menu inside where you will add the action buttons the menu is this which opens up uh, vertically and will show all the buttons that you add here so I've added two uh, floating action buttons here and uh, you could customize them like you would customize any other element uh, with the colors and everything and you can also add the uh, on click so basically open add product will is this and it opens up another activity so yeah this is a simple way to make your uh, floating action button to have multiple icons and options and yeah I found this very useful uh, if you were to custom make the animations and uh, if you were to make this from scratch it would probably take a lot more coding and uh, I guess more time but you do get a lot more flexibility if you were looking for something basic and simple just to get the job done then this is a very uh, efficient way to do it this is a very useful tool to have I'll link this in the description so yeah that, that's about it thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys again in the next video subscribe for more android studio tutorials and thanks a lot for watching again